Good morning, everyone. Grand Rising. Today, this particular video, I am making for someone special by the name of MTB Poland. Four days ago. Well, Mr. Poland. <coughs> I'm Bonnie B. And today, this video is called the response to one's opinion. Alright, MPTB Poland. The response to the video was Tarot cards are demonic. Well, Mr. Poland. Before we begin this discussion, so that we can begin this discussion in the right energy, the first thing I'm going to do is pray for us, so that I don't lose my temper, and I don't lose my cool, because I need to educate you. you got a few things you need to learn. So before we begin, we're going to go before the Almighty, because it says when you have an art with your brother, you take it to your brother. And if you cannot fix the problem, then you get a mediator. That's a little scriptural understanding for you, Mr. Pope. So before we begin this, so that we can begin this in the right energy, we're going to pray. Join me, Mr. Pope. In the name of Jesus, I come before the throne of grace. Father God, I ask that you cover my information that I am about to bring forth from Mr. MTB Poland. Father God, I ask that you show him truth, honesty, and clarity. Father God, I ask that you help him to understand and open his mind up so that his brain cells are not blocked and that he gets some form of information on a spiritual level. In your name, dear Jesus, I ask for these blessings. Amen. Now for you, Mr. Pope. Tarot cards can be demonic. That's a true statement. It's a true statement when you understand that the reader, <clears throat> it's the reader, of the tarot cards. Tarot cards in and of themselves are not demonic. Tarot cards sitting on a table are just like playing cards when you go play spades or uno cards when you play uno. They're cards. They're cards. When you understand on a higher information level that we are talking about energy energy. When you understand that every day you deal in demonic energies. While you're just pointing at tarot cards, let's point at smoking cigarettes. Let's point at drinking liquor. Let's point at pornography. Let's point at sex unprotected. Let's, po let's point at sex with unmarried people. You want to talk demonic, honey? Don't just point at the tarot card. That's the punk way out. Have balls, baby. You want to go demonic? Go all the way. Don't play with this shit. Cussing is a curse. Speaking ill will is witching witchcraft. You want to go here? Let's go. Anything you do in the energy that you are in right now, when you have unconditional, you don't have unconditional love, and you running around pointing your finger, you operating in your Lilith energy, which is your self know, which is the rawest form of your negative behavior. You want to go there? Let's go. When you graduate mentally, and the who God is. Then you understand this thing called demons. You understand. 
that demon warfare takes place in the mind. So when you automatically point your finger because you are lost in the matrix and you are still under programming because that's where they want you, I expect that response from you because you're lost. You claim you know who God is, but you don't know the power thereof. Don't come at me with this. Because you're fucking with a real one. See, I know the word of God. I know that the trees see every move you make. I know the bugs see every move you make. I know the clouds see every move you make. Every move you make that you think you're doing in the dark, every time you throw a dagger in someone's back, that's demonic. Every time you say something about somebody under your breath and bear a false witness, that's demonic. You want to go demonic? How about when you go in the store and you pick up something that don't belong to you and you don't pay for it? That's the spirit of theft. That's demonic. When you cuss and you call someone out of their name, that's called bearing a false witness. That's demonic. You want to go demonic? Baby, let me educate you on something. You live in the matrix. This is a 3D planet. These cards that you call demonic, it's the spirit of the person who's reading that's demonic, not the cards themselves. When you fail to understand and educate yourself on things, when you don't understand tools of divination, you automatically holler, that's demonic. When you don't understand the true power of the blood of Jesus Christ, but you try to run around and act like you're holier than that, that's demonic. That's your Judas power. Beware of throwing stones, love. And beware of what you call demonic. Because you will find that in your own life, 99.9% .9 of the activities you do, unless you're a monk, are demonic. You better think about it. If you don't get on your knees every day and ask God to forgive you, and ask Him to fill your heart with unconditional love, and ask Him to remove the prejudiced feelings that you have in your heart, that prejudice. That's the mind. When you fail to understand that Satan is the ruler of this world, the snake. And then your behaviors, slithering in under false names. That's the mind. Especially when you try to slither in and leave a negative comment. Those are starting to hide your hand, huh? Be real with who you are. Tarot cards in and of themselves are not demonic. Educate yourself. Lack of education and ignorance can breed demonic. Better study. Balance out your me, myself, and I energies. Figure out who the fuck you are. So that you don't run around here hollering. That's demonic. Be blessed, my brother. And that's my response message from Mr. Pope. Especially for men. Finally, baby. God loves you. And so do I. But stop hollering everything is demonic unless you understand the demon. But when you look in the mirror and you see your own negativity, that's demonic. Bye.